Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to be doing drugstore and affordable slash high-end makeup. So one side of my face has drugstore and affordable products and the other side has high-end products. And the purpose of this video is to um, just really show you that you don't have to go out and purchase all this expensive makeup. Like there are cheaper alternatives. You you don't have to spend 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, almost $100 on makeup when you can go in the drugstore and purchase things that are similar, if not the same, if not better. So I actually have several of these videos on my channel already and I wanted to do another one for you guys because I came across some good dupes in my collection. I didn't go out and um, purchase anything. Nothing is new, um, but some of the products that I'm sharing in today's video are going to be new as far as sharing so I haven't shared some of these on my channel yet but I didn't go out and purchase anything just for this video just to let you know but I'm really excited you guys already know I love drugstore makeup I love to have a good mix on my channel with drugstore and high-end products so with this video you get two in one so you get it all in this video so yes let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial so you guys can see what side is drugstore and affordable and what side is high-end if you want go ahead and leave your guess before you start watching the video just to see if you are going to be correct but um yeah let's go ahead and jump right in all right so since i just washed my face my lips are really dry so i'm going to take this laneige lippy balm um i try my best to go in my collection and find something that's a dupe to this are kind of similar and the closest thing I found was this ColourPop lip balm this is their lippy balm in the shade by the bushel and this one has kind of like that pinky clear pink tint but it's not as dark as the Laneige or Laneige I always say it wrong but the Laneige glowy balm I'm gonna put them side by side so you guys can see how they look there they are right there so the dark one is the Laneige, Laneige, and then the lighter one is um, ColourPop. And ColourPop is obviously cheaper, um, but as far as how they feel on the lips, they feel very, very similar. So, okay, so what I'm gonna do is do this side with the affordable drugstore products, and then this side of the face, we're gonna do more of the not so much affordable slash high-end products. So moisturizer, I'm going to take the Garnier Skin Active um, Moisture Rescue. And I feel like this is really, really close to the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Um, not Silk Canvas, but the Tatcha Water Cream. So these, I feel, are very, very, very similar. And the reason why I say that is because they are a gel moisturizer for one. And they feel really light. It's like you're rubbing your face with water. So, yeah. Start out by moisturizing the face with the Garnier on this side. So now we're gonna take the Tatcha can. Why do I want to say canvas like silk canvas? Tatcha water cream. I don't know why I want to say silk canvas. For some reason, it just comes to mind every time I say the word Tatcha. But I'm gonna take a little bit of the Tatcha moisturizer and apply it on the face. Yeah, they feel the same. <laughs> Okay, so for primer, it was actually really hard for me to um, pick two that was kind of close to each other because for one, I didn't want to pull out ones that I've already shown on my channel doing these types of videos. And two, because I don't really have a lot of high-end primers in my collection. But I did finally choose two. So one is the Rimmel London Stay Matte. This is the one that I have talked about nonstop pretty much on my channel um, recently. And I'm actually trying to use this one up. But anyway, the one that I thought would be kind of close to the Rimmel London is this one by Fenty. Both of these are gonna give you a matte finish. So that is where they can definitely compare. Um, the one by Fenty actually gives me more of a, it actually smooths my skin out more than the one by Rimmel. But as far as how they, um, you know, perform on the face, they do give me that nice, soft, matte finish. And it does make my makeup last pretty much all day long. So we're going to apply Rimmel on this side. And then on this side, we're going to go ahead and apply the Fenty Primer. Now, once you start blending these out, um, they actually have the same 
um, what's the word, consistency, like how they feel on the skin. It feels like you're rubbing your face with a moisturizer, kind of like a lotion in a way. So they do feel the same once you apply it. But now that we have that on the skin, we're gonna let this sit for a few minutes and go ahead and do the brows. So I have, um, since I haven't used this one in a while, I felt like pulling it back out of my collection. This is the Precisely My Brow by Benefit Cosmetics. This has been my go-to brow pencil before I discovered the CoverGirl brow pencil. So this one is Drugstore. This is the CoverGirl um, Micro Fine Brow Pencil in the shade Soft Brown. And I'm in the shade number five in the Benefit, uh, the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. So both of these are pretty much the same. It's just one is cheaper, the other one is not. And also the packaging is obviously different, but I feel like they're both pretty much, like they perform the same way and that's pretty much why I've fallen in love with the CoverGirl brow pencil because this one is definitely cheaper and you guys know I love drugstore prices, drugstore products. So um, that's why I've been using this one more so, um, more than the precisely my brow pencil. But um, if you're wanting a cheaper alternative, then definitely try out the one by CoverGirl. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the Benefit brow pencil on this side. I'm in the shade number five and Benefit products. I can also use the shade 4.52, but this one is number five. So they're both pretty skinny, which makes it really, really easy to define my brows. So we're gonna do this like this. And then we're gonna do CoverGirl on this side. Brush out the brows and then take the brow pencil. I think if I had to say, um, one thing that these brow products are um, like, one thing about the brow, product, uh, brow products that I feel is different is um, how they apply on the brows. So the Benefit Brow Pencil isn't as soft as the CoverGirl, but not, that's not to say CoverGirl is soft because it's not like super waxy or anything like that, but the Brow Pencil by Benefit um, is actually more, I don't know how to, how to explain it. It's more rough, like it's more scratchy once you apply it on the brows. But this one by CoverGirl isn't as scratchy, but at the same time, it's not, um, it's not too waxy or anything like that. All right, so the brows are cleaned up with the concealer. They look the same. I mean, honestly can't tell which side is which, which side is drugstore, which side is high, you know, high end. I don't know. Anyway, let's just go ahead and jump into the foundation. Um, I'm gonna be using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and I'm also going to be using the Maybelline 24 hour, what is it, what is this? 24, what is this? Super stay. And I wanted to use both of these because they're both full coverage foundations, they're both matte foundations but even though they're matte in my opinion they don't feel too matte or too drying on my skin so they kind of give me that um what is it um what's the word mm, i just drew a blank satin finish there we go so it's more so of a satin finish in my opinion on my skin so that is why i chose to do these two even though it was still kind of hard to pick two foundations because I've decluttered my makeup collection and it's just so hard to choose what is what in my collection that is similar. So let's clean this off. This is really dirty. So this side we'll do Maybelline since this is the affordable drugstore side and I'm not gonna put too much of the product. Um, I'm gonna use I actually have one sponge that's clean right now. So I'm gonna use one sponge, but I'm just gonna use the sides of the sponge instead of using the bottom because I don't really have another sponge to use. This is damp, by the way. We're just gonna blend this out on this side. Now the colors may be different, but in my opinion, I feel like the coverage is pretty similar. They both have that full coverage. So you really don't have to use a lot of the product, but the color I'm pretty sure is gonna be different 
but you know, it's really not all about the color. It's about how they look on the skin, how they wear, how they perform, all of that. I don't know the words, but I like the song. Oh, by the way, I'm in the shade 355 in the Maybelline and Clinique, I'm in the shade 24 Golden. This has a um, doe foot applicator, so super easy to apply the product. And you guys see that it's obviously a different color, but that's okay. This is my like true perfect color. This side is darker, but once I apply concealer, it just evens everything out. But the one by Clinique, this is my perfect, perfect, perfect match. Endless love. Endless love, that's what it's called. But now that we have both sides blended out, this is how we're looking. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll make this work. I will make this work, I already know it, but <laughs> this is too funny. All right, moving on to concealer. Why do I have three in front of me? Oh, I know why, because I was actually gonna figure out which one I wanted to use. But I have the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer in the shade Chestnut. This one is gonna go on this side. And I pulled out two drugstore concealers. I was trying to see which one I wanted to use. All three of these are like full coverage concealers, but I have this one by Milani and then I have this one by L'Oreal. So the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer and then this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. I think I'm going to go for this one because this one is a little bit more lighter and I need something on this side to even out so it won't look too, you know, too different compared to this side. So this one by L'Oreal is... Um, definitely darker than Milani so we're gonna use this one by Milani this one is in the shade deep tan and like I said both of these concealers that I'm using today are full coverage so this is what deep tan looks like right here I'm just gonna do that like that dang I don't have two sponges for the concealer we're gonna try to make this work with one sponge i was not prepared and then using chestnut from the born this way super coverage concealer this one isn't as light as this side but that's okay because this side of my face is darker than this side so we are about to really even this out like everything is gonna be even everything is gonna look the same like i'm gonna be looking like i have on one product instead of two different types of products. All right, I'm gonna use this um, sponge from Walgreens. Um, I'm just gonna use both sides. So this side, I'll take it and blend out the drugstore side. I always like to take it over the lid like that. And then flip it over. I'm gonna blend out this side like this. So moving on to setting powders, I have the Rimmel London Stay Matte Setting Powder and then I have this one by Laura Mercier. Both of these are very, very, very similar, if not the same, like so similar. So this one is translucent, it's matte. And then this one by Laura Mercier is the same thing, it's translucent. And I feel like this one also gives me a nice soft matte finish. So um, I really don't have any loose setting powders in my collection that are um, I would say dupes to each other. I just feel like with the setting powders, I have more that are not drugstore that I use over drugstore ones. And the ones that are drugstore, I've already shown them in these types of videos where I compare it to another powder. So I didn't really wanna pull out the same ones. So I'm gonna take the um, Rimmel London and place it on the side where we have our drugstore and affordable products. We're just gonna tap it in, make sure everything is set. I think I put on too much, but it's okay. I'm also gonna take the um, the Rimmel powder and put it on this, um, the middle of my nose because it's hard to do two different powders right there. Like, it's just gonna be impossible. So I'm just gonna take it and put it on the middle like that. And then flipping the sponge over, we're gonna take um, Laura Mercier and do the same thing, just apply it 
everywhere that we applied concealer to make sure everything is set. All right, so for my pressed foundation powders, I always like to take a little bit of this just to dust around um, the perimeter of my face, pretty much where I did not put concealer in um, translucent powder. So I'm gonna take the Sephora Micro Smooth and put it on this side of the face. And then for drugstore, we're gonna be using the Maybelline Superstay. Now these two, um, the only differences between these two is Maybelline actually gives me more coverage than the um, Sephora Micro Smooth. So this one is more so giving me a smooth, even finish. It's not as full coverage as Maybelline, but I wanted to use both of these in today's video so you guys can see how they look side by side. Um, this one is obviously a more affordable option. Um, another one from the drugstore that I would definitely compare um, to the Sephora Micro Smooth is the NYX no filter powder and that one is the one that I always used with this one when I was doing these types of videos so I kind of wanted to switch it up in today's video and use something else so um Maybelline Superstay powder is the one that we're using this is in the shade 355 and I'm just gonna lightly dust this around the perimeter of my face just to set it and make sure that everything is evened out and then this side we're gonna take the Sephora Micro Smooth and just do the same thing. All right, so, so far this is how we're looking. We have the affordable drugstore side and then we have the not so affordable, not so drugstore side. So, um, yeah, I still think this side looks a little bit darker than this side um, since the foundation was a little bit darker, but I still think they both look really nice like this side looks smooth and now that i have um my face done i'm gonna go back into my brows and just spoolie out the inner part of the brow like this so before we go into the eyeshadow the blush the highlighter the lips i'm going to take a little bit more of my powder um the rimmel london and i'm just going to take it down the side of my nose and this is where i just let it bake let it sit while we do the rest of our face. It's kind of hard to do it with a sponge with pressed powder, but I'm just gonna put some of that product right here. So bronzers, okay. I have Morphe Glamour Bronze. This is the deepest one in the shade, um, uh, what is it, Banam? Yeah, Banam. And I have the new Marc Jacobs Bronzer. So they came out with a deeper one. This one is called 106 Tantalize. So this is supposed to be a deeper one than the original one. So, and I've already tried it. I've tried it. I have not tried it on camera, but I've already tried it. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys my thoughts. I'll let you guys see it. But this is how um, the new one looks. And then this is the one from Morphe. So this is what they look like. Very similar as far as how they look, like the size, but the color... So we're gonna start out with Morphe first. We're gonna put Morphe on this side of the face. So taking Morphe, I'm gonna put on not too much because we're already darker on this side of the face. So I'm gonna put on a little bit of bronzer right here and on the forehead. All right, so I grabbed the brush that I used originally with this bronzer um, when I wasn't filming the video, but this doesn't have any other product on it. It's just basically this. But let me just show y'all how this looks. Just swirl it on the face like this. Dang, it's not doing what it did when I tried it. Okay, it's doing a totally different thing this time. Well, no, I see it. Let me know if you guys see what I see, but it looks really, really gray. Like, was it my eyes playing tricks? Do you guys see what I'm seeing? Especially right in here. I don't know, when I first tried out the bronzer, it looked really great on my skin, but this is how it's looking. So this side definitely looks more bronzy, more sun-kissed, and this side, not so much, but let me know if you see the grayness. I 
feel like it looks gray to me and like, I don't know. Just let me know. And I'll go ahead and still take the Marc Jacobs bronzer and put it on the sides of my nose right here. This is where I always like to apply some bronzer just to kind of snatch the nose. And then on this side, we'll use Milani. Not Milani, but um, dang, lose my train of thought. Morphe on the sides of my nose. I'm gonna blend it out in a minute. We're just gonna go ahead and go straight to the eyes, but I will blend out my nose and then take off the powder in a few minutes. But I really just wanna go ahead and jump to the eyeshadow. So I have three eyeshadow palettes that are definitely dupes, like definitely spot on dupes. So this one is the Huda Beauty Nude Palette. And I also have the um, Revolution Pro, which is their new eyeshadow palette and also the new Alter Ego Palette. So. Um, this is what Huda looks like on the inside. So the soft, rosy plum shades. And this one, I don't think I've shown you guys here on my channel, but this is the new Alter Ego Daydream palette. So this one looks just like the Huda Beauty palette. It's just the colors are positioned a little differently in here. And then this one is the one that I showed in my recent haul. This is the new Revolution Pro eyeshadow palette. So all three of these palettes look exactly the same. Um, but I really wanted to show you guys that. And also, um, KKW Beauty is coming out with a new palette. And I have this Milani eyeshadow palette. This is called, what is this called? It just came out, Gilded Ember. So I don't know if you guys are aware, but KKW Beauty is coming out with a palette that looks exactly like this like exactly like it so it's gonna be a warm palette it's not out yet but I would say this is a good dupe to it um, this one is available right now on Amazon and it's also I think in Walmart I believe but yeah this is the new Milani palette I haven't used it yet I really wanted to just show it to you guys simply because KKW Beauty is about to drop a new palette that looks like it looks just like this not the setup but the colors the colors look just like this in the new um kkw palette kkw beauty palette <laughs> but here we are right here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the huda palette on this side and then i'm gonna take the revolution pro palette i'm not gonna use the alter ego one because i've already dug my fingers in this one and this is the one that i showed in my haul so we're gonna use this one on this side. So the brush I'm using is the Morphe M504. And um, the crease color we're gonna use is this one. This is from the Huda palette. So we're gonna use the shade Raw. This will be our crease color. And we're just gonna place this right here in the crease. By the way, I'm using two brushes. So they're both M504s. Um, going into the pro, uh, what is it? Revolution Pro palette. We're gonna dip into the same color. This one is just called Rumor, and it's actually in the same spot too. Just gonna put this in the crease as well. Ooh, this is my first time using this palette. I've already used the Huda palette, but this is my first time using the Revolution Pro. I've only swatched it, but. It's actually blending out really good, like really good. That's one layer. I put two layers on this side, so let's go ahead and put another layer of shadow on this side. Yeah, so the color blends. Oh yeah, so this is definitely a nice buildable eyeshadow. And it looks just like Huda, like just like it. So now I'm gonna go, I'm actually gonna use some glitter. You guys know I really don't work with a lot of glitter on my channel, but I might as well. So I'm gonna use two different eyeshadow primers just so that, you know, the glitter can stick. Um, the Fenty primer, this is the Pro Filter, what is it called? The Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer. And I also wanna use the Pro Fusion Eyeshadow Primer. So these, I don't know if these are, you know similar but these are the only this is the only eyeshadow primer that's drugstore that I have in my collection so I'm just gonna put a little bit on my lid like this tap it on the lid 
and then I'm gonna take my finger and just tap it out like that and then I'm gonna do the same thing using the Fenty primer and do the same thing on this eye all right so let's dip into a glitter I'm gonna take um, this ooh, what glitter do I want to use I'm gonna use this one this one in the middle it's called excite this one right there and I'm gonna take the same finger that I put the primer on and just put this, oh, ooh, ooh, girl. I'm just gonna tap it all over my lid like this. Oh, this is making a mess. Let's just keep going. So going into the um, Revolution Pro Palette using that same color, which is also in the same spot. This one is called Party, and I'm using the same finger that I did with my um, primer and just put it on the lid. I should have did it like this on the other side. Just be very slow with it and just pack it all over the lid like this. So I'm going to go back into the Huda Beauty palette and take that same... Um, no, actually, I'm going to take another color. I did say I was going to use two shades, but we are going on our third shade. So I'm going to dip into this dark purple right here. This is called um, Love Bite, and I'm using the same brush. And, and I'm going to put this right here on the outer part and also kind of put it into the crease like this just to darken up the, out, um, the outer part of the eye. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side, dipping into the shade Majestic right here from the Revolution Pro palette. And put that purple right here on the outer part of the lid and kind of lightly buff it into the crease. Girl, we're about to use another shade. This is called For Real, this bronze color right here. And we're still in the Pro, um, the Revolution Pro palette, but I'm gonna take this Anastasia brush, the number A14, and we're gonna put this color right here on the inner part of the eye. Right here. And kind of lightly bring it up and kind of flick it into the crease a little bit. The Huda palette does not have that shade. <laughs> <sighs> Dang, so what I'm gonna have to do is dip into this color right here. This is called um, Crave, and it looks like it'll be a little close to that color. Let's try it. Oh yeah, okay, there we go. There we go. All right, so that's all I'm gonna do for the eyes. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put on my lashes, mascara, which I have a mascara dupe to share. So the um, Hourglass Caution Mascara, the drugstore dupe to it that I feel like is very, very, very similar, if not the same, is the Revlon So Fierce Mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the wand on both of them. But in my opinion, these are very, very similar. And this one by Revlon is weird. So if you notice right here, it looks just like the um, the Hourglass Mascara. But if you turn it a little bit, the wand forms a different shape. So you see that? Don't know if you guys... It's right here. So this one's Revlon and then this one is Hourglass. So they look different right here. So right here they look a little different, but if you turn the one by Revlon just a little bit, see how it looks exactly like the Hourglass? So it has a different shape on the sides of the brush, but the actual bristles are just like, in my opinion, they're just like the one um, by Hourglass. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows, mascara, put on a little bit of eyeliner on my waterline, and I'll be right back. Okay, so for blush, I don't even know if the color that I have is gonna look good with the eyes that I did, but um, I have like an exact dupe for blush. So I have one by e.l.f. and then I also have this one by Kevin Aquan. So this one, Kevin Aquan, is called Mango, and this is a really bright, 
um, coral peachy color and the same goes for elf this is pretty much the same color as Kevin Aquan so this is how they look like it's the same the same I'm actually gonna do a very small amount so I'm gonna go ahead and apply um, Kevin Aquan on this side that's actually pretty not too bad okay that's pretty and then we're gonna apply elf on this side I just lightly tap the brush in there too like elf has some of the best blushes yeah I put on too much on this side I'm just using my powder brush to just go over it but this is how they look all right so for setting sprays this was really really hard but um, the one by Farsali, this is the new Farsali 24 karat, 24, what is it? The rose gold skin mist, which I have like almost emptied. But, um, this one actually reminds me of the Olay mist. This one is the energizing one. And I say that because not only does, you know, the packaging looks kind of similar because they're skinny, but the scent and they just kind of have that citrusy scent and I don't know it just kind of reminded me of this one but I want to say this one is actually going to give me more of a glow like more of a dewy look than this one but I'm actually going to go ahead and put these on my face I'm not going to like let it air dry I'm just going to spray this uh, drugstore side with Olay the mists are different like this one is more fine and it also sprays out longer than the one by Farsali. And I'm just gonna take my, where did it go? Where did, my sponge, and just kind of press it into the skin. Cause this is what I've been doing lately, just pressing it into the skin, making sure that all of those powders are, you know, soaked in. And taking Farsali, we're just gonna spray it on this side of the face. And then just press this side in too, just to make sure that everything is melted together. So I found an exact dupe to the Marc Jacobs highlighter. This is the shade um, Guilty. I found an exact spot on drugstore dupe. So this is what this one looks like. And the dupe would be the Maybelline Master Chrome. Like these are, they're the same. I'm gonna swatch them side by side so y'all can see. Both of them have that really silky smooth texture. So this one is Marc Jacobs, and then this one is Maybelline. Like, the same. The exact same. So this side we're gonna put Marc Jacobs on the face. I think I applied way too much, <laughs> but it's okay. It is okay. And then this side we'll do Maybelline. So I found two lip pencil dupes. So this is the MAC lip pencil in the shade Cork and the dupe to it would be the ColourPop lip pencil in the shade BFF3, I believe. Yeah, BFF3. I'm gonna swatch these side by side. So this is BFF3 and then we have Cork by MAC right here. So there you have it. Very, very similar. So we're gonna put MAC on this side of the lips and then let's apply BFF3 on this side. All right, so this is how they both look on the lips. Honestly, cannot see a difference. Um, I'm gonna go on top of them with the lipstick. So for the affordable drugstore side, we're gonna take the new Revolution Pro lipstick in the shade Cashmere. And um, I feel like this one by Too Faced is very, very similar to Cashmere. This is in the shade Sunday Fun Day. So both of these are nude, um, like a light nude color. So I'll go ahead and swatch Sunday Fun Day right here. And Cashmere, I think these are the same. Oh yeah, there they are right there, side by side. So cashmere, we're just gonna apply a little bit of it on the center of the lips right here, not too much, and just kind of blot my lips. 
And we're gonna do the same thing on this side with the Too Faced lipstick. Just kinda put a little bit on the center like this and blot. Okay. I like this lip combo. All right, so this is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what side you like the best. Do you like the drugstore, more affordable side, or do you like the high-end side? So let me know. Let's chit-chat about it down below in the comments. And also, if you have tried any of the products that I shared in today's video, um, let me know your thoughts on the products. Let me know if you like them. Let me know if you don't like them. And if there's anything um, that you feel that is in your collection that you think are dupes, let me know that too because I want to know, you know, I want to know it all. So let's go ahead and chit chat about it down there. And I am doing a giveaway on my channel for this whole year. So every single month I give away one box to one person. And it's super easy to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is make sure that you are subscribed. Make sure you thumbs up this video as well as leave a comment down below in the comment section. And I don't want the comments to be anything about the giveaway. Let's talk about what I shared in today's video. Let's talk about these products. Let's talk about which side of the face you like the best let's talk about that so yes i think that's all that i have i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you thumbs it up make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and i'll see you guys in my next one bye